Hello Aries, welcome to Drake Tarot. My name is Becky and this is a general reading for January 2021. Remember to check your moon, your rising and your Venus signs for further clarity. If you are a cross watcher checking up on someone, welcome, this might help you too. Please can I ask you to like, subscribe, comment and share, it all helps the channel to grow. I also offer personal readings, my email's in the description. Okay, so let's get on with it Aries. Happy New Year, when it is that time. <laughs> so for Aries, we need a reading for Aries, please, for the month of January 2021. Aries. <coughs> now that's quick. So you've got cow spirit here, Aries. The miracles are endless. So maybe you feel as if your options aren't given to you, but it's almost as if it's saying the miracles are endless as in the way of if you think a door has closed, don't always think that's the case. There's always another door to go through. Um, miracles are endless. It might happen. It might not happen. It's a case of you to find out, but don't lose hope. The cow. Now, a cow is also known as um, the animal for abundance, for health, for good health. And it's also a card for new spring. Cows give birth to calves, so they're considered sort of a fertile energy. Okay, what else have we got for Aries, please? Opportunity, okay. Potential. Security. Fulfillment. And blessings. So it's almost as if you need a reminder here, Aries, that you have potential, you have opportunities, you have all these things. Don't restrict yourself into thinking you are only good for one thing. You are only good enough to go as far as someone said to you five years ago how good you were. Okay, this is to say that your opportunities are endless. You can do whatever you put your mind to. And there are miracles that happen, okay? Not saying you need a miracle, not at all, Aries. This is a case of saying um, don't put yourself in a box and think that's what you've got to do, that's how I've got to do it, and that's the only way, okay? This is opportunities. You have freedom, you have freedom of thought. If you think you're in a box, if you think you're trapped, you're not. There's always a way out. Okay, so this is tarot read for Wow, you have the Ace of Cups and you have your own card here, the Emperor. You have the Nine of Wands, but it's in reverse. <clears throat> so nine, reverse, nine of Wands in reverse is kind of like um, it's kind of surrendering, surrendering to something. And you have this Ace of Cups here, which is about a new start, a new love opportunity. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it's almost as if you're standing in your power to say, I can surrender and start again, start afresh, start anew with a new love. This could be a love of family, of career, of a certain person. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one person. Maybe it's a case of renewing from an original person. There we go. There's the world card again. And we have the Ace of Wands. Oh, interesting mix. Okay. So it's 
So here we are, the Nine of Swords, okay. Pass was the Four of Swords. Three of Cups. Oh, oh wonderful. Your future has the Ten of Pentacles. I'll explain all. Now you have the Four of Wands as your advice. Ten of Cups is how other people see you. And the Nine of Cups is your hopes and fears. And you have the Two of Wands as your outcome. Okay. Yeah. So if you see the Four of Wands is longer on in the, the path of life, the path, the lesson, the, the activity. Um, and the Two of Wands is before that so it's kind of like um say for example you've reached to a point where you've started a job first you had the idea of getting a job then you have the idea taking the action of getting that job and planning your way forward to get that then you have seen what your options are to come in so say if you uh, applied for three jobs you're trying to figure out which ones are coming in, which ones want you, which ship is coming in. And then the four of ones is the celebration of that because you've made the decision. Now, your advice is that is to make a decision here. But you have the two of ones as your conclusion to the reading. Now, we want to figure out why you're stuck in this kind of you're not being able to take the action to make a decision. You're not, uh, be a, you're not able to reach out to your, your options. There has to be a physical movement to go, hang on, I want this and I want this. Or can I have this? Can I have that? It's like, if you don't ask, you don't get type feeling to it. Now, where you're coming in is a start. You want a completion. You want a completion of this sort of to and fro in about this, this fear of lack of potential that you feel within your gut. Your self-esteem, your confidence needs a boost, whether this is to do with love or to do with career, whichever situation this fits you. But here we see you coming into your power in January 2021 and you surrender, you surrender to the, the fight in your conscience of, I don't have the courage to do this. I don't know if I'm worthy of doing that. I don't know if I can do that. Am I clever enough? Am I smart enough? Am I beautiful enough? Am I, and it, you end up doubting yourself because you're putting these negativity towards yourself. Now where you have the Ace of Wands, so your obstacle is the Ace of Wands. And here we have the Four of Wands. It's in reverse, but I'll explain why. And here we have the Two of Wands. So one, two, four. And there's the Nine of Wands. So your new start, your new spark of inspiration is your obstacle to completing this way of thinking. It's almost as if you're going backwards instead of forwards. So maybe someone crashed your confidence and crashed your self-esteem into thinking you don't deserve any better. But you do, Aries. Okay. Now you 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 want to achieve this three of cups here. Um, three of cups again is about celebration, but this one's in reverse. So it's almost as if it's kind of saying, do you want to be able to take the effort to be able to celebrate? So it's kind of like I can't celebrate because. I haven't got the confidence to go for what I want to celebrate it. It's, it's, it's kind of one of these weird 
situations that's going on in your head. Now, future, you have the Ten of Pentacles. That is really good. But your current energy is this Nine of Swords. It's kind of this worry, this anxiety, this insomnia. It's kind of going, ticking over and over and over in your head about how can I fix this way of thinking? I'm worrying, I'm worrying about something. What are you worrying about? Because in the past you have four swords. Now this is a wounded soldier that's gone into hermit mode, the four swords, and they're contemplating what happened. It's kind of like thinking things through and they're resting, recuperating, both physically and psychologically. Now something has, you've, you've had the battle. Now in your recent past, you're like, I'm recuperating, I'm healing, I'm thinking things through, what happened, what happened in the battle. And then for some reason, you've just suddenly flipped to the 10 of pentacles in your future. So something's going to happen in January that's going to make you financially happy. It's to do with the bricks, the mortar, the money in your pocket. So this is going to make you feel content, going to make you feel very secure. This is about retirement. This is about pension. This is about inheritance. Now, people see you as the Ten of Cups. So it could be that you're a happy family. You're kind of part of this union of people, whether it's a marriage, it's a family, it's, you know, mum, dad, siblings, however you want to look at this card, children. And it can be a case where you're kind of, you're seen to others as being this happy, go lucky person. You're very happy at the moment and content. It's either, maybe you're not, and this is a front, or this is somehow, this is how people are seeing you. Maybe you're putting on a front to say, look, I'm all right. Yeah, it's all good. And uh, with this nine of cups, you wish you were like this without the people around you. You want to feel secure in your own knowledge of um, being independent emotionally, not being able, not having to feel lonely or you, the feeling of being able to support yourself without outside influence. Now, it's okay to feel this way. This is very common everywhere. It's human nature to feel lonely. And to feel this way is very difficult to get to. And I think that's where this Two of Wands is coming in. Because you want to be able to independently, by yourself, be able to plan what you want to do in the future, what you want to go to. Um, and you're having, you're struggling with that. You're struggling with this. And that there is a feeling, a need for you to surrender. Surrender to this fight of putting yourself down and putting yourself in a box. And realise there is potential. There's magic. There's miracles. There's potential. There's, you know, there's all these things that can put you in the right direction to where you want to go. Maybe it's a case you don't know where you can go because you don't know what your potential is. So if you could, if someone said to you, oh, you can be, can be or do or be with anyone you want to be with. And, and you turn around and you say, well, I'd, I'd, I'd really like to be, um, I don't know, um, <laughs> what's a good job these days? Uh, let's, let's pick a job. I want to be an actor or an actress, or I want to be a fireman or a policeman or, you know, all these things. And then suddenly you, you put yourself in a box of like, oh, maybe I'm just not good enough to do that. Maybe that's just not my thing. If someone turned around to you and said, oh no, um, you, you'd be no good at that. No, don't do that. One, you have to have all these grades to get there. And it's kind of, it puts you down. It puts you in this kind of, oh, I'm just not good enough. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm unable to carry those things out. And so Aries, this is kind of like a shove in the right direction of 
imagine yourself back to when you were a child and think to yourself, what was the thing you really wanted to do? What is the thing, where did you want to be? Where did you see yourself as being happy? And carry out the actions you need, plan out the actions you need to get to that part in life where you want to be. It might take you one year, it might take you 10 years, it might take you 50 years. But at the end of the day, at least you're, it's all about the journey rather than the destination. It's the journey you've taken, your spiritual lessons to get to where you want to be, that drive, that power of I'm going to go here, I'm going to do this. And it's, it's life. This is life. So just keep going, Aries, and you will get there. Do what you want to do. Okay. So I'm going to do get some more cards out here and give us some more confirmation about what's going on. death card again okay um yeah we've got the four swords here again the resting battle wounded person here it's been past energy and this is the center of the reading with the world coming to an end it's almost as if your spiritual hermitism is coming to an end or something you're kind of having a realization but that's your obstacle to come out of this kind of way of resting and thinking and thinking and resting and healing that's coming to an end and what you'll have is a spark of inspiration a spark of suddenly like that's it that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go there and I'm going to do this oh I better let go on the internet find out how I do this and how I do that to go and get there okay and then we have this king of cups so oh right so there's a little kink in story here isn't there there's almost like a battle maybe of between your emotional side your heart maybe it's a family situation where you're like if I want to go and do that if I want to go and do what my dreams where I want to be maybe it's a case you'll be leaving something emotional behind you'll be leaving um, in a relationship a person and that's what's worrying you I see where you're coming from now. Okay. And here we have this hanged man. Yeah, the same four of swords is basically it's the major arcana of the four of swords. And the hanged man is all about, it's almost hanging in purgatory. Something's happened. And in the olden days, I said this to, I think it was Leo. Yeah, Leo, and it is a case of you hang in purgatory, you think things through. Someone's hung you from the rafters and gone, think about what you've done. I'm not saying literally someone's done that, but it is, it's this kind of you hang your head in shame and you think, how did I get here? Why did I do that? Where am I going now? And it's this kind of feeling. It could be you, it could be another person, but there is a strong sense of Pisces here, we have Taurus, we have, bear with me, I'll just have a look at the cards here, strong sense of, ah, uh, yeah, here we go, Scorpio, so we've got a lot of Scorpio energy here as well, now Scorpio energy is you not wanting something to get you, you don't want something to end or something's not going to end. And you feel as if this is kind of what your higher self would like to achieve. So it's almost a case you have to leave something that you love and you cherish to go on to something new. And that's a big um, um, an issue for you. And it's kind of thinking, oh, but if I do go that direction, I'll be leaving something behind. You've got the four of coins. So you are staying put for now. You are staying where you are for now. With this nine of swords but it is it's worrying you it's getting you down why is 
See, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles in your future. Oh, I see. So it is a case of you are perfecting your craft. So if this is a career way forward, you are kind of going the career direction into what you're choosing. You are choosing to better yourself, to perfect your craft. And you know this is going to secure your Ten of Pentacles. This is going to secure your roof over your head, your inheritance, your retirement. This is going to be good in the long run. Mm, but Spirit's saying you'll be juggling. And this is a case where you either... Stay where you are at your home or you move on because otherwise you'll be juggling. Whatever that is, that means it could be as something as simple as you can't do both things and you can't celebrate as well. So there'll be no rest. If you carry on the way you are, the more work, the effort you have to put into getting somewhere, there's not going to be much time left to celebrate. I think that's what spirit is getting to and that's why it was reversed because initially it was reversed so it could have been a warning of saying you can't you won't be able to procrastinate much you have to keep on going you're going to be juggling but you can make it you can do this you just need the the um the power the potential the drive to keep you going and here we have this five of swords there's always something to ruin it isn't there which is this is contradictory because this is saying other people see you as this happy family ten of cups energy here. And here we have this five of swords. Five of swords is all about um, confrontation, people, it's arguments, it's uh, confusion. It's thinking of more words which can make you ring bells with it. Yeah, it's people bullying, it's theft, it's people stealing, it's it's not a nice card. It's about violence. So it's almost like there might be a case where there's two sides to the coin, two sides to another person or situation or... You might be happy in one situation, but unhappy in another. And it's kind of how you're seen by, because it says how other people see you. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean, or it could be that they see you as both this person and this person. So they see you as this happy family, happy-go-lucky person who has all they need around them. But at the same time, you can come across as, maybe a bit argumentative. It could be as minor as just, you know, you get in a huff. Everyone gets in a huff. Don't worry about it, Aries. But um, for some of you, maybe it's a case of where there has been um, almost, there's been lying, there's been stealing, there's been, you know, all the bad things that we don't like, you know. Um, but that's your own personal story here, Aries. Now here we have your hopes and fears. And when I said the nine of cups, and there you have the world. No, it's not the world cut, it's judgment. So you hope for a judgment. This could be to do with a rebirth, like the Phoenix. This could be to do with that. So you're kind of arising from the ashes. You hope that your your, your block can get you off the ground and you can go and get what you want to get. But it's about fairness. Judgment is about a final decision. Yes, oh, I see where you're coming from now, Aries. You want to make this final decision and stick to it. But you're having trouble because of this Nine of Cups energy. You're not able to get to this Nine of Cups, being content and happy and confident and independent by yourself. Okay. And there we end with the lovely her. No, sorry, not the hierophant. The hierophant can be about marriage, but it's all about contracts. So it's big contracts like um, a signature on a piece of paper that signs your life away for five years. 
um, not picking on anything. Um, but this this is a, a mortgage. It can be a mortgage. It's a place where you are putting your legally contracting you to a situation, kind of binding you to a way to be. And if you break that contract, things go a bit airy. Okay, so what you have here is your two of wands. So you feel maybe enclosed by a contract. Okay, maybe there's a contract that you feel is blocking your way and this is stopping your plans. Wow, interesting. Right, let's get any extra cards for Aries. I like to use these as extra pointers. No way, this came out for Leo. Um, here we have the key, the key to opening someone's heart. This could be love, this could be romance. But there's a rose here, which is to do with romance, love. Okay, and this is a key, a key to get to that person. Um, so maybe this is a case where this card is saying you need a key to get into whoever. You need to find the key that unlocks the heart. Something along those lines. Oh, the candles have gone out. Telling me shut up, Becky. <laughs> no way. And we'll do... So we've got 12. If 12 is a number that you resonate with. We have the moon. And we have Leo. I think that's Leo. Yeah, so Aries, if you're dealing with a Leo at any point, this could be to do with you. Uh, we, like I said, we've got Pisces, Leo, we've got... Da, 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 what else did I say? Scorpio, Scorpio and Taurus. So if you're dealing with any of those people, then ooh, this reading's for you. Um, thank you so much for listening to this. I hope it resonated. Um, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that if you could do that. And um, hopefully see you next month. Take care. Bye.